everyone, it's Lizzie from Lizzie's World of Gems. Welcome back to my channel where I try to make your diamond painting experience a little bit more awesome. Today I have a post review. This is the best part of doing diamond painting is seeing your completion. This was from Diamond Art Club, Do What Makes You Sparkle. And it is May May, Don't Give Me No Sass by Richard Lorenzo. And I tell you, I love everything about this diamond painting. I think it's so flipping cute. You know I love owls and to me this looks like an owl. It might not be an owl, but to me it looks like an owl. So that's why I picked it. Um, it's got the little crow here with the little top hat. Um, the rendering of it looks a little bit different than the painting. I was kind of disappointed with that. But in overall, it did turn out really, really good. I can't find the big picture anymore. I don't know what I did with it of what it looks like. I do have it somewhere here. And I'm going to roll it up more so you can see the bottom half where she's on like a tree branch. She's got her little pearls here. There was 59 colors in this. Two rhine, no, one rhinestone. And um, the rest were in these. Were, um, I think, one, two, three, four ABs. So one rhinestone and four ABs were in here. There's lots of, you can see where the ABs all went. Really, really, I love the toenails. I love the toenails of these birds. <laughs> and I had to get one with other, like my other painting that I did next to you. They had colorful toenails and I had to get another one with colorful toenails so that is why I picked this one plus she kind of reminds me of chaos and that's what sometimes my life feels like I feel like I'm a little bit in chaos so that's why I really really liked it um dislikes about this painting I don't like the gapping in diamond art club um like I said, I didn't really care for the rendering as much, but as you can see, it turned out beautiful, even with the rendering it had. Um, the thing about Diamond Art Club, there's a lot of color blocking, a lot of color blocking, and to me, I feel like, like with the light off, you can't see it, but with the light pad on, you see a lot of gapping and a lot of imperfections, but I know when you turn the light off, it doesn't look that bad. And then I feel like I go cricket sometimes because there is gapping. But now that I'm looking at it here close up, it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad at all. It's, it's gorgeous. I love it. I'm going to frame this and put it up on my wall here in the craft room. Hey, he put a picture up where I was going to put this. Well, that's coming down now, isn't it? <laughs> Um, I would have filmed this on my coffee table where you could see the picture better, but, um, we're in the middle of renovating the kitchen, so it kind of is a little bit of a fiasco in there, so that is why, um, I decided to film on my desk, even though I can't get the full justice of the picture. But it turned out really, 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 really good. And I'm really, really happy with it. Um, I, I had lots of colors left over. I did not run out of colors. And uh, it turned out amazing. Now, there was some trash, like any company. Um, ones that were half half ones and ones with little holes in it but that is to be expected no big deal on that as well I had a lot of fun doing this um the only problem about using 
putty and sometimes the putty gets on your diamond painting. Other than that, it turned out amazing. It was 58 by 68 centimeters. And here's all their satisfaction lifetime warranty. I don't even know if this even is real anymore, but they say it is because they don't warranty everything anymore. Um, Facebook, Instagram, and then you have your 10% takeoff when you order again at the bottom. So yeah, it turned out really, really nice legends on both sides, nice and big. The canvas is beautiful, always sparkly, just like they are. And yeah, I have nothing bad to say other than I always have this gripe with Diamond Art Club. I think there's a lot of gapping, but once you turn the light pad off, you don't see the gapping. So, you know, it's a catch-22. A lot of color blocking. Like, the only thing I hate, like, I like color blocking because it's fast and we're all tempted to use our multi-placers, but I find when I multi-place, it looks like you multi-placed. Like, you can tell where you multi-placed, you know? As of if you single place, I feel like it looks neater, but that's just my own opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Do you think that when you do one that is multi-placed, some people don't care, but it really bothers me that I can see it. Some people might not care that you can see it, but I care. Like I, I am only comfortable with a four placer Anything bigger would probably work better for these, but I'm not comfortable using anything bigger than a four because then I feel like I'm going really crooked. So four is my comfort zone, but then I think, oh, you can tell that I multi-placed here, you know, and that's just in my head. And that's one thing I need to try to get out of my head, but that's what... I get in my head all the time with any painting but I really liked it I really enjoy this one I have lots of drills left over uh, normal trash you know the black was normal like what black looks like some were not too hot had to pick through them but in the end look at my bird ain't she so cute I love her. I called her Susan. I called her Helen too. <laughs> it's a bird of all peoples. Anyway, till next time. Take care, everyone. Bye. Well, folks, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like, please subscribe to my channel. I be super tickle pink. And remember to hit that notification bell and it will remind you whenever I load up a video. And till next time, take care everyone. Bye.